Hi guys! So, um, I'm not on my bed anymore and I'm not using my laptop. I actually have a camera. All I needed to do, it's not like a new camera, all I needed to do was find a bigger SD card. So yeah, but today I'm going to be talking about my, like, paranormal experiences from my past and, like, up to today. And, um... The farthest, like, I made a list and everything, but the farthest back that I can remember, which something happened, was I was around, like, that age where you, you didn't just start losing teeth, but you're almost, you're, like, in the middle of when you lose your teeth, so, I don't know, like, uh, seven, six, five, I think it was, like, seven, because I still lived with my mom then, but, um, like, I had just lost a tooth, and so I was sleeping, and for some reason I woke up in the middle of the night, and, like, I just, like, barely opened my eyes, and I see this, like, orb, like, it was, like, this big, and it was just, like, light, and, of course, me being a little kid and still believing in a tooth fairy, I was like, oh my god, it's a tooth fairy, I have to go back to sleep, or else I'm not gonna get a quarter, so... That was the, like, the farthest back that I can remember. And then the one that happened after that was, like, once I went to go live with my parents. and Or my my parents. I went to go live with my dad and my stepmom. And um, this was a couple years after the orb thing. I think I was 11 when it happened. We were living in a house in, like, near the beach in Florida. And me and my dad went to go stay in a hotel because... This was when I was, like, still visiting them before I moved in. And so me and my dad went to go stay in a hotel because he had to do something for work the next day. And he was downstairs, like, and he, he was on the phone with um, someone from work. And so I was like, Dad, can I just go up to the room? He's like, yeah, here you go. And he gave me the key card. And, um... And so I go into the elevator and it's me and this, I don't, I guess he was like mid thirties, like this man and like the elevator stops, like it gets stuck. So I'm like freaking out because at that age I didn't have a phone. I didn't have any way to call my dad. So the guy lent me his phone. So I called my dad and then my dad went to the, the front desk and like they called the fire department and everything. And so the firefighters came to like get us out of the elevator and I was so scared because my dad wasn't with me and it was just me and them and we were in there for like about 15 well it was more like half an hour 15 minutes but um like the guy that was in there when we left like as soon as the firefighters opened the doors I went and like hugged my dad and the guy like he left he left the elevator because like we were coming out this way and like the staircase or whatever was down this hall but he turned this way and I'm not sure if it was like a paranormal thing or not or if I was just deaf but I thought it was paranormal and I thought it was kind of weird but like I went to, to like turn this was like two seconds after I finished like hugging my dad I went to turn to thank the guy for letting me use his phone and he's not there I have no clue where he is he's gone like we didn't hear a door shut we didn't hear like the staircase door open or whatever because he had turned the other way opposite of the staircase so he couldn't have gone down the staircase but that that one was weird and then when I finally went to go live with my family in Clearwater or my dad in Clearwater, um, like, I went, this was in elementary school, this was fifth grade, because I remember, because normally in fourth grade, I went to the middle school, and, like, even though we, ha you had to cross, like, a major road to get to the middle school, they didn't have a bus stop for me, because I lived too close, and, sorry, I heard a noise, but it was probably my siblings, but anyway, and so in fifth grade we got a bus stop and it was like down the road or whatever and so I I was coming home at like I don't know like one o'clock two o'clock and my stepmom and my dad like worked so they wouldn't get home till like four or five or six sometimes and 
I was sitting in, cause like, here I'll draw, I'll draw a little picture for it, cause it's kind of hard to explain. So like, here was the front door. Here was the living room, and then like, this is gonna take up all the pages. This is like the kitchen. This is my parents' bedroom. This is my bathroom, office, then my room. And like this was the living room and then like the dining area. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see this, but this, like my room was over here. My bathroom was here and then like there was a hallway and then the living room with the front door. And so back here was like, this was our backyard and like our pool and everything. Back here was like an extension onto the house that the people before us had put in and it was just we called it the back room and so i was sitting in the back room watching tv and like our floors since we have a dog like her nails like clicked on the floors because they were wooden but the floors would like creak and like she was next to me on the couch and if i if it was her then i would have heard the clicking in the first place but like when you walk on it, certain parts that you step on creaked. And it was really creepy because I was sitting there and all of a sudden I hear like this creaking and I'm just like, um, okay. And then another, like a day or two after that, I thought I heard a toilet flush in my house, like in my bathroom, I thought I heard the toilet flush. And of course, when you're little, you don't want to like get up and go see if the toilet actually flushed. So I just kind of like sat there and turned the TV up louder just to like block out the noises. But um, another thing that happened was this, this is in Florida. Like this is one, I have one more thing in Florida and then two things up here in Virginia. And one thing in Florida was, or the last thing was, this is the, my stepmom told me this because it happened to her. So this was when I was in middle school. I was in eighth grade. So I was like, I would get up and be gone out of the house by 745, I think it was. I would be like out of the house by, no, maybe it was 730, whatever, it doesn't matter. And that morning, my dad had left at like four o'clock in the, or like, no, it was like three. He left at three to go to work. Because he had to go to the airport to fly to Texas, I think it was. Or maybe it was up here. But I don't know. He, he was flying somewhere for work. And so my stepmom, like this is secondhand knowledge. like, But I remember, like, I remember everything she told me just because it was so like creepy and weird. So she was sitting there and it was like after my sister was born. And so um, she was like laying in bed. And Violet, like, because you know how babies, they kind of, like, when they roll over or, like, well, like when they move, when they kind of wake up, they make noises. And so they were, like, she was, like, making noises or whatever. And then my stepmom heard, like, shh, 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 sh, it's okay, like, shh. And, like, she was, like, oh, well, then Will, that's, that's my dad. She's, like, well, Will must have mu not left already. And so, like, she just, like, rolled over and went back to sleep. And then, like, half an hour later, the same thing happens. And she's like, he should have left for work already. And then, like, and then even another couple times after that, she heard the same thing, like, shh, it's okay, like, stop crying. And she was hearing this, like, voice through the baby monitor. And it was creepy. Like, my dad refuses to believe that ghosts exist. Me, personally, I think they exist just because of, like, the experiences that I've had and, like, proof that other people have had. And, like, when I got home, my stepmom was like, did you go into Violet's room this morning to, like, quiet her down? And I was like, no, why? <sighs> Excuse me. And then that's when she told me, like, the whole thing. And I was just like, oh, that's weird. That's creepy. And then we moved, and then, um, we didn't move, we moved later after that, but after that incident, the same day, or, or if not, the day afterwards, we looked on the internet to see all of this stuff that, like, kept spirits away, and we had, like, covered Violet's room in 
like quartz, coral, all of this stuff that we had looked on the internet that said it like warded off spirits or whatever. And so when we moved up here, I had to babysit my cousins and they were like, um, they remodeled their house and it's the the old part where the used to be the master bedroom is now the guest suite. So I was staying in the guest suite and normally I have to sleep with a fan on because like the tiniest noise will wake me up. And the fan, like the overhead fan was on just not like not loud enough or not high enough that it made like a buzzing noise like I'm used to. And so like their, their floors like creak so much like in the older part of their house. And so normally there's this section in the room where you walk over it and like you hear the footsteps and at first I heard like a couple things and I was like oh it's just the air conditioning turning on because sometimes that happens when the air conditioning turns on so I was like oh it's just the air conditioning and then it kept going and I was like well that's not the air conditioning what is it but of course I get scared really easily that's why I don't like scary movies unless I'm like with someone but if I'm by myself I'm the biggest chicken of all time but it like kept doing it kept like going and I was like that sounds like it's getting pretty close so what I did was like I I felt like I was five because you know when you're five you think that like your bed and your covers will protect you from anything yeah I had one of those moments and I just like pulled the covers over my head and I was just like just stop just go away just go away and then when they stopped I finally built up enough courage to go turn the light on in the bathroom turn the fan up all the way and then like turn other lights on so I was sleeping with the lights on and that was just really creepy and then like a smaller one I'm not sure if like my mind was just messing with me I was ready to go to sleep like I was getting to go to sleep in my bed or whatever and I was on my phone and I had just turned my fan on and all of a sudden I just hear <sighs> and I was like whoa like this house is new there shouldn't be anything in here and it was probably nothing like I was probably just hearing stuff but it's just kind of weird when you hear something and you're by yourself, you're home alone, no one's there, and you're just like, what made that noise? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I liked filming it because I love talking about paranormal things with my friends and other people who believe and try not to contradict me, which annoys the crap out of me. But I hope you guys like this video. I'll be posting more soon, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.